In this cake tutorial, you're going to see how to pipe these colorful, beautiful Victorian style cakes with buttercream. Stay tuned! Subscribe and ring the bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. The cakes are pre-frosted in violet, moss green, and buttercup yellow. Here's a tip. Try smoothing your cold buttercream cakes with a bench scraper. Use waxed paper, cut to fit, fold it into fourths, eighths, or sixteenths to mark your cakes. Place it and then mark it with a dot of buttercream. If you don't have cake markers, use a glass or cookie cutter to loosely mark the sides. This is a star number 14. Practice on a board first. These are reverse scrolls and a rope style border. You can click the link under the video to see my piping skills class at Cakes with Lorelei Academy. This is a 352 leaf tip and it makes a very pretty double ruffle. You can add extra layers of frills like I did here. A great example of drop strings mishap. Sometimes you can remove it easily like this. If not, get the cake cold and then remove it. In my previous video, I uploaded this Victorian Delphinium blue cake and the upside down ruffle garland was so gorgeous, I was inspired to do it again. Practice, practice, and more practice. I'll leave the link to the Victorian tea party cake at the end. This is a zigzag garland. It's easier than drop strings, for sure. <laughs> the challenge with these is making them drape and look even. Start with a small amount of pressure and narrow, going gradually wider with a little more pressure, back to narrow with less pressure. In lieu of drop strings, I'm doing pearls. The inspiration for the buttercream palette flower in the center came from this piece in my house. It also ties in the colors with the other two cakes. The little dots are made with a number three. Rosettes are a number 14. And this is a 352 leaf. Now onto the green cake, which is so much simpler. Corneli lace is so pretty and it's easy to do. Use a one or a two for the lace and three for the drop strings. And again, the number 14 zigzag topped with a shell.
purple blossoms maybe the 103 or you could use the 104 and tiny rosettes with the number 14 finish off this sweet little cake. I think the buttercup yellow one is my favorite. It's a four inch cake, so it's a tiny, cute little cake. The vertical lines are made with a 352. Drop strings are a three and the pearls are also a three. Finish off this tiny little cake with a small bud. It's a tiny fan ruffle and a green leaf. The reverse shell border on top, a shell, a little extra piping at the bottom, and she's complete. In my next video, I'll be sharing how to photograph your cakes in a variety of ways with and without special lighting. Take care and stay safe.